daily video log. I'm doing a bunch of these in February. Uh, you've been the first week I did these in the morning. Today, Monday, I didn't do it this morning. I've got this head cold. I wasn't feeling well. I decided to put it off till the end of the work day. Looking forward to punching this thing out and then heading out for a run. I believe you should run through a cold. It's a good way to mobilize all this stuff and, and get it out of me. Plus, it's uh, warm and sunny and I want to get out and enjoy the fresh air. Today, as I've mentioned before, I develop online education content, firefighters, EMTs, and paramedics. I was working through a course today about narcotics, overdose, and some slides that my friend Kyle put together. The course was written by Buck, uh, another colleague, and I think it's going to be a really great training. And I've been thinking it's always good to remember that there's sort of two general types of e-learning, synchronous and asynchronous. So asynchronous is content that you create and it just exists anytime for somebody to consume. So for example, this video, asynchronous, once it's posted on YouTube, it will just exist there and you can consume it at a time, place that's okay with you. Versus synchronous content it means we're all sharing uh, the learning together. We might not be in the same place, uh, but it's happening at the same time. So asynchronous content, this YouTube video, I make quite a few screencasts with Screener, S-C-R-E-E-N-R.com. That's another example of asynchronous content. The online education courses at CenterLearn, generally asynchronous. Synchronous content, most of the time, is stuff like a webinar. Webinars are great tools for fire departments and EMS agencies use, to use to deliver training. And one of the things is it usually requires less prep time. So you can schedule a webinar with a tool like GoToMeeting or GoToWebinar, and then people can stay in their stations and cover their service areas or even be in their vehicles say the ambulance has a mobile data terminal and receive that webinar information. It might be a protocol update or update from the chief or a quick uh, training briefing. And you could even rotate the responsibilities for delivering that uh, webinar around to the different stations. So week one, it's station one, week two, station two, and you rotate those training responsibilities around with the webinar. So a couple thoughts about asynchronous online training, synchronous online training, interested in what you have to share about how you think e-learning is best delivered for fire and EMS agencies. You can add that to the comments or you can contact me uh, a, a bunch of ways at Chief Freeze on Twitter or you can email me greg at centerlearn.com. Thanks.